एवरीवन वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ कैन यू मर्ज मल्टीपल डेटा टाइप्स एंड सो दैम इन अ वन रिपीटिंग ग्रुप एंड देन यू कैन फिल्टर आउट और सॉर्टेड आउट ऑल दी लिफ्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट सो बिफोर इवन स्टार्टिंग एक्चुअली बबलिंग सो बिफोर इवन स्टार्टिंग द एक्चुअल स्टफ लेट मी जस्ट सो यू वट इज द डेटा फ्लो गोइंग टू बी सो लेट सपोज दिस इज माई टू डेटा टाइप इवेंट एंड टास्क and basically that will be uh, using a backend workflow we are merging both of these data into the one and something like this one and then converting that data type into the tags so that we can create this type of json and then convert that json tags into the actual the json and then we will make a api call so that will basically uh, fetch this data and so to the repeating group so let's start how exactly we are going to do so uh, okay let me create a test account like merge data okay merge data and now uh, we will just drag the repeating group and before even starting uh, let me just show you the data structure so i have a two data and first is event that have a date name and status and also i have a task data type that also have a same data type you can have multi different that not an issue i just want to uh, just want to keep it uh, simple that's why i just uh, keep it as same you can you you will have a like a different data fields and all okay now what we will do uh, we will set up a backend workflow Okay, now what we will do? We will set up a backend workflow. So simply click on API workflow. Now give it a name, club data. Okay, what exactly we are going to uh, get by the backend workflow is using this backend workflow, we will combine both the event and task data type and store like a uh, store as a text, and then uh, whenever. we call a api we will call this backend workflow and get the json data i will show you how exactly you can do simply club as data yeah this is authentication this we ignore the privacy rules and yes nothing is from the input simply call the return data from api so this action basically return the data to the api so whatever the data you just want to store it have a three data type one is plain text so uh, you can set the simple text a uh, simple response as a text second is structured js and third is application uh, other content type so that we are going to use it and we will pass the custom data type as a application slash json and now we are going to uh, simply get the data so what we will do simply first click on insert dynamic rbt data so you already know rbt text is a simply a text so bubble automatically converts this text into the json so now we need to create our data in this format like uh, let me just copy it and also show you like this kind of a text where this first object is of the event data and the next object is of the task and then we can combine them and this will going to be returned by the api so what we do simply create a array object uh, array sign json array sign and then we will simply uh, not now we will do the do search for do search for first we fetch the event data simple and now we need to format is as a text and now we need to convert each row of the event into the json object like a single json object so each event so for example this is my data so each row like for example this row this row will be convert into the one json object so how let me show you name uh first is the name of the event name and just don't forget to 
format as a json save so whichever input text uh, sorry whichever text you pass here you should use a format as json save otherwise you will get an error simply comma and then date date we are going to keep it uh, as a unix so uh, use extract unix and then uh, close and then we are going to pass one more type type what is the type of data so that will be helpful us to basically uh, identify whether it's an event or a task so if you see i have a name date and type type of the uh, json object and yes simply do. now we will do for the task also just put a comma comma so that we have a proper json structure do search for task that's it format as a text same thing i'm just doing quickly And also one more thing you need to remember is uh, always keep the consistent JSON object value. So if you have your object have a three key in your event, this should have also have a th th same three key. Otherwise you always get an error. What was the last one? Type. This is your task data. Simply. comma that's it uh, yes i think we are more or less done so first we need to get this uh, club data complete url basically how we will get a simply click on this uh, detect request click on detect copy that cancel change back to the manual definition now go to your uh, api connector i already have an api so we will create a one api merge data get data expand that get data now if you see uh, in our backend flow it's a post call so we need to set up this as a post rather than and just copy the url and also don't forget to remove that initialize thing and that's it and if you just click on initialize call yeah if you see the row response this is the body that comes out right now we just need to uh, call now we just need to call it in the json so what we will do sorry not json in a, a repeating group that we have so now till now what we have learned how to set up a backend workflow how our da uh, data has set up in your bubble now we will see how can you fetch that data into the repeating group so that's pretty simple click on data source go to get data from external click here yeah this one merge data that get call that's it uh check body because now we get a data let me just time to so it let me just remove this four also keep it like 60 and then text so we have a three data we will show everyone each data not every More. I'm not focusing on the UI. That UI, UI you can you can worry about. So, current data get name. Current data uh, date. Uh, I'm just want to format as a in a much better way. This much is better. Date is get current body and type. This is simply. Now our data should be yeah. If you see. My data is coming here properly. Now, for example, that's it. Uh, like till now, we have so, uh, sold the two different type of data type into the single one repeating group. So what we can do is simply um, now we just want to for, uh, sort it out. Simply do is sort it out. 
sorted out with the date. Date is, yes, descending is there. If you just refresh this page. Now if you see, it's sorted out with a date, like August 7, then August 3, August 2 and all this. Now for example, you just want to show the event data only, not the, uh, not the task data. So you simply say filtered and uh, type is equal to for event it was event so it will just show the event type of the data <clears throat> nothing is appearing i think we have just messed up with the Oh, sorry. We don't need to pass the double double quotes. Yeah. Now, if you see, we only have an event type of the data. So I hope that makes sense for you and it clear to you. If you have any doubt, just let me know in the comment section and I'm happy to help you. Thank you very much.